Good morning, lads. Welcome to the Special Air Service Regiment. You have all come from a number of different units and branches from within the Australian Army, and you have a lot of specialist skills that we hope to make use of in the time to come. Our primary role is to reconnoitre, surveil, report on, and if necessary, harass the enemy. Most of you will become parachutists, but there is far more to training in this regiment than that. The SAS Regiment, a specialist Australian Army unit where trained soldiers face rugged tests for acceptance and then 12 months of specialised training before being assigned to an operational squadron. The regiment has its headquarters at Swanbourne in Western Australia and much of their training is carried out in the Stirling and Darling Ranges. Roping down cliff faces takes courage, nearly as much as this stunt. Some members of the regiment specialise as swimmers and in watercraft handling. To get information on the enemy requires stealth, often behind enemy lines. Swanbourne Beach, alongside the regiment's headquarters, is ideal for surf training. Modes of transport are many and varied. Whatever is used requires a high degree of physical fitness, not all acquired by military training, of course. They live well in barracks, but spend much of their time living in small groups in the field. Expert medical attention is on hand and first aid is a must on operations. Training is vigorous and exciting. Many hours of drill on the ground prepares the SAS trooper for regular parachute training sessions and injuries are kept to a minimum because of the high standards and regular training. Parachuting, while exciting, is treated by SAS professionals merely as another means of positioning themselves to carry out their clandestine role. Those who do successfully complete the initial course are presented with the coveted Sandy Beret on a ceremonial regimental parade. Some who do not qualify initially are retained in the regiment because of specialist qualifications. It takes more than infantry specialists to make up an SAS regiment. Like other military units, they must be tradesmen, cooks, mechanics, storemen, clerks, and specialists. Well done indeed, my boy. It's 
And it's always a good thing to see uh, Sig getting through this particular course. Good, sir. And I know you'll uh, understand the implications now of being one of a very small group to receive this fairly uh, rare and coveted award. Sir. I know you'll wear the beret with uh, distinction, credit and with honour. Well done. This is a day of great pride for the newly qualified trooper. Acceptance into the regiment is symbolized by slow marching through the ranks. The regiment was formed more than 20 years ago and is the pride of the state of Western Australia. Soldiers of the regiment have served with distinction on active service in Borneo and in Vietnam. SAS training involves numerous specialized courses culminating in realistic operational exercises. This exercise is going to thoroughly test our primary roles of reconnaissance, surveillance and harassment. We expect enemy air landings here at Mamalari, Jim Jim, and we'll locate patrols here, here, and at Pine Creek. 2-3, this is 2-5. Enemy patrol moving west. Over. Long-range reconnaissance training often takes them into Australia's northwest and Kimberleys. SAS patrols may have to fight their way out from behind enemy lines, but their main task is to get into position and report on the enemy. It's a daring task, but then their motto says, who dares, wins.